what are you making? So, chicken salad, clean style, semi. Um, we've got about 40 people-ish. So, of course, chicken salad is like one of the best 4th of July dishes ever. But we don't have to do it like total jerks. So I've got my rotisserie chicken. I'm gonna take all the skin off, piece it apart, put it all here. And then I've got this stuff I'm gonna add, which is the fruits and veggies. I like it because the grapes and the apples give it a sweet touch. And then the bell pepper gives a little bit of crunch along with the onion, red onion specifically. I can't stand the way that, you know, white onions taste. So that's just gonna give a lot of flavor. And then the big part is what I season it with. That's what really makes the difference. What do we have here? So, garlic, minced oh. garlic. Yeah, so of course minced garlic isn't gonna set anybody back. That's perfectly fine. And then you got your salt, all the dry seasonings you want to add. I personally just like pepper, Italian seasoning because everything else is gonna really give it the flavor. Almonds for a little added crunch, a little good fat in there. And then the big game changer are these right here. So if you can replace, most chicken salads are made with a bunch of mayonnaise. Um, so you can replace the bad mayonnaise with just a dash of light mayonnaise. That's like a huge game changer. And then I put just a little bit of olive oil for texture to keep it from like chunking up, to be honest. But not much, like just a dash. So where I get the bulk of what I make it with, like to really give it that, you know, saucy texture, is plain, emphasis on the plain Greek yogurt. Because this doesn't have, okay, this one does have five grams of sugar. Um, to be honest, mom went to the store and bless her heart, she doesn't always know best but um, she did okay. So five grams of sugar, about the same amount of fat and carbs, um, but it's got 20 grams of protein. So I make the bulk of it with plain Greek yogurt. And then I add about one or two tablespoons of the mayonnaise, light, light mayonnaise. For this amount of chicken, I'll probably do four tablespoons of this mayonnaise. And then I'll probably use half of this tub with a dash of this, and I'll finish it off with squeezing the lemon juice on there. Sounds good. So this right here, this is the most time consuming part. As you can see in the here, how much I've done, that's taken me about three minutes so far. So this is really where the work is put in. So if you have people to help you, I recommend putting them to work. Like me? Let's do it. All right. fruits and veggies in here. We got our apples, our grapes, some chopped up bell. And then I'm gonna try to do this without making a total mess. I did originally make this for 35 people, but I think it actually could feed an army. So we got all that. And then it's time for our seasonings. And this to me is the most important part because this is where you can overdo it and completely ruin your dish. So some people like weighing things out, measuring. When it comes to this, I just eyeball it because this isn't something that I use like on a regular basis. This is more of a, you know, celebratory dish. So I got some onions and then the mayonnaise, which we need to be careful with. We don't need to overdo the mayonnaise. We're just gonna do maybe three tablespoons and that will go a long way. And this is what most people, when they make their chicken salad, they'll put the whole tub in there. So that's what you want to stay away from. Nasty. Nasty. All right, but put instead, yeah, go ahead and put the onions in. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, 
Instead, we're gonna put our plain Greek yogurt that we talked about in here. And that's really gonna make the bulk of the sauce for this chicken. So. You stragglers here. I guess I could have <laughs> pulled this off first. Okay, and then again, not big on measuring because um, at this point, I'm not really counting my macros for this. So, I'll we do half of this. Emphasis on the plain Greek yogurt, because it's really easy to mess up and get the vanilla. So, that's probably enough. I can always add more, but you can't take it away. So, there's that. We're gonna do just a little bit of lemon juice in there. Good stuff. Thank you. Keeping the seeds out. And then just a dash of the olive oil. Okay, maybe one that's already open. And it, again, a little bit goes a long way, so you don't need a whole lot. Oh, oh, all right. Okay, that's probably plenty, honestly. And then the last thing we're gonna add in is our dry seasonings. We got some garlic, salt, pepper, Italian. Stir it all up and we are good to go. Thank <laughs> you. 